welcome all of you today i'm going to tell you some basic concepts about carbon nanotubes some properties synthesis methods and application these are the contents i'm sharing with you uh, so first of all we should understand what is carbon nanotube it is a cylindrical structures that is made by graphene sheet that is a rolled up sheet of graphene is called carbon nanotube it is also known as bucket tubes here you can see this graphene sheet graphene sheet and this carbon nanotube is formed by the rolled up structure of this graphene sheet and this carbon nanotube is discovered by the scientist Sumio Ichima when he was doing uh, an experiment, he found a thin needle-like material uh, that he examined under electron microscope. He found that its structure is similar to graphene structures and he named this material as carbon nanotube. So there are two types of carbon nanotubes. One is single wall carbon nanotube and another one is multi wall CNT. The single wall carbon nanotube is around 0.5 to 1.5 nanometer diameter. And in case of multi wall, the diameter is more than 100 nanometer. So, uh, some uh, difference in single wall and multi wall carbon nanotube. In single wall nano nanotube, already told it's uh, uh, diameter is closer to 1.1 nanometer or 1.5 nanometer and it exhibit good electrical properties multi wall carbon nanotube is consist of multiple roll layer of graphite the distance between two layer each layer is around 3.4 amstrom it depends upon the synthesis there are two models uh, in multi wall itself it's and divide in two models one is resin doll model and another one is patchman model in the resin rod doll model the sheets of graphite are arranged in a concentric cylinders in patchman model a single sheet of graphite that is rolled in around itself to form a patchman model multiple carbon nanotube so these are some of these properties of uh, carbon cnt and CND is can, uh, the strongest and stiffest material it discovered in terms of tensile strength and elastic module. In case of the tensile strength of single wall CND is from 13 to 52 GPA and for multi wall carbon nanotube it is it ranges from 11 to 63 GPA. In CND it have high strength to weight ratio. This value is around 100 times that of steel and over toys that of conventional carbon fiber. CND are expected to have a high thermal conductivity and the value of the, conducti the thermal conductivity is increased with decrease the diameter. The CND can synthesis in different methods. The commonly available methods of CND synthesis are arc discharge milk synthesis, laser ablation synthesis, thermal synthesis. In the arc discharge synthesis, there are uh, an inert in a chamber, uh, graphite target means graphite electrode were placed, separated an approximate distance is around 1 nanometer distance in an inert chamber. So in that we applied some DC um, current to this electrode. This uh, CND were deposited on this cathode. So this is a common and easiest way to produce the CND. Another one is laser ablation method. So in this laser ablation process, pulse will uh, laser laser that is normally NDR lasers were used uh, that vaporize the graphite target in a high temperature reactor while an inert gas is blend into the chamber. 
so this nanotube will develop on the cooler surface of the tissue there are some potential applications of cnts in medical and electronics and industries and in every field this cnt can the applications of cnt is wide this in case of this uh, medical field it can be used as say drug delivery means it can use it as a drug carrier in genetic material carrier or in, in immunotherapy we can use in case of cancer therapy we can use this material as a photothermal agent so that absorbed in nir rays and it is heat him itself that heat is more than enough to kill this the mutated cell and electronic applications of cnds are it can be used um, this material is used as material for manufacturing the transistors actuators sensors batteries and some many applications cnd also used for water purification in water purification this because of this it can used as a filter so because of it can act a high water flux at low pressure so that it can reject the salts and pollutant and this um, the pore size and surface chemistry we can do according in by synthesis so this is a an effective filtration method in for water purification and cnd is also used for solar cells because of some properties like high electrical conductivity large surface area increased electrochemical accessibility and mechanical chemical and electrochemical stability because of this property unique property of cnd is used as a supplemental material for energy conservation conversion so the energy conversion and storage devices and cnd based solar cells are very cheaper to make compared to other silicon based material and this nanotube are mechanically stable they also make for more flexible device cnd is also used for drug delivery application because if this can be used as a nano patches so this one of the one way of uh, drug delivery path that is transdermal drug delivery patches so here in this uh, picture we can find the cnt membrane in that on the surface drug solution and patch cover in uh, under the cnt contact polymer or a uh, some bioactive polymer you place it's like a patch so these are attractive method for drug delivery especially when treating drug addiction so through the use of functionalized cnd membrane drug delivery to the skin can be controlled and cnd also is used for tissue regeneration this scaffold means in the tissue regeneration um, the scaffold were prepared by this cnd functionalized cnd with uh, cnd com are combined with polymer such as polylactate have been used as a scaffold in tissue engineering regeneration okay thank you